Good day to you and your lot. They call me SSN Beamish and uh, well, today I'm gonna uh, do another reaction video, once again. Uh, today we're uh, going to be reacting to the third episode, yeah, the third episode from the HIFO series that uh, the guys at Team Force are doing currently. Uh, it of course starts Cell. Uh, well, he's in HIFO, you know, the home for infinite losers, the um, censored version that the American kids got for hell, for Dragon Ball hell. This is a terrible freaking intro, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Hello, hello, okay. So, um, first of all, I'd like to address the fact that, as you may have noticed if you've seen my current videos, I am not in the couch that I was the first time that some people began to see me uh, on camera. Honestly, I mostly would be in that couch whenever I made a reaction video because I like the aesthetic of it, you know, it's a nice couch, a nice black uh, leather couch, you know, the, uh, the wall is right behind me, it's a... Uh, nice green wallet say i have that kill bill uh poster uh, i always think to myself i have to give the artist a shout out and i always forget to do that i have no idea who the artist is though i think it's written or somewhere in there but i have never been able to properly like identify whether it's in the signature uh, i bought that in a store in houston by the way anyway the point is it was mostly an aesthetic choice but honestly it's kind of a little bit too much work i don't know if you can notice but there's a tv right here now that tv it's always there uh, whenever i would make a reaction video as you know i don't have any proper lighting equipment i'm literally using like a lamp i have in my desk and the uh, you know the sunlight that comes through the window to make this kind of videos so i have to move this thing to try and make sure that it's mostly visible it's a whole you know it, it's kind of unnecessary oh there's the trash can try coming okay anyway um the point is this to them uh, i'm going to start making reactions i think from here too as i've been doing the other videos so uh what is the video that we're going to be watching today it's like it's said part three uh, the third uh, episode for the hifl series um interestingly i don't really have an awful lot to say about this i mean I've, I want to believe that a lot of people in my audience may or may not have seen the, uh, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge series that Team Forza had made. That's that's a really bold assumption, isn't it? I mean, it's something that I liked, personally. Found it way, you know, a long time ago. I wouldn't say when they were first starting, because I think that when I found them, they were already doing uh, Season 2. But uh, the point is, I've been watching for a long time, okay? I've been watching for a long time. And uh, I really like it. Uh, I honestly can say that I like it even more than the original Dragon Ball. Then again, I've never been the huge fan from the Dragon Ball, but the point is I really like it. And uh, so, this show is, like I said, about Cell being in hell after he gets defeated. In both versions, in both Dragon Ball and uh, the abridged version, he gets defeated by Gohan, he gets killed, he gets sent to hell. And in the original version, if memory serves, he actually does team up with Freezer to start, you know... I, I believe they start doing just some general mayhem in hell they start causing it for no real reason <laughs> they were just being you know chaotic kind of like disrupted children if you will um probably a good way to describe those two cell and freeze i mean the point is um nothing much happens in the series nothing much is done with them together in the series the guys at team Forza have clearly been doing something with them uh i don't know if they're trying to take it to the point where they're like, you know, disrupted friends. I'm honestly thinking that that might be what they're trying to do, but so far what we have seen from the show is that Cell gets sent to hell. I'm sorry, to Heifel, the home for infinite losers. He, it's literally a cul-de-sac where he and the other, uh, you know, big villains from Dragon Ball have been sent after they got killed. Uh, you know, we have Raditz, we have <laughs> King Guru, we have the Genius, and uh, I'm missing someone, aren't I? Oh, well, we have Freezer's other minions, uh, Sarbon and Dodaria. And there, of course, it's also Frieza, and there's the two German guys, I don't remember the names, and uh, there's, of course, Cell. And in the first episode, it's mostly just Cell's introduction to this place, and, of course, him meeting Frieza for the first time. He never met any of these people, they were all long dead before he, went, he, he even arrived. But the point is that we see him interact with them, and it's an interesting interaction, if I may, it's an interesting thing to observe. Him... Uh, how he very quickly takes a kind of general dislike to the Guineas, just 
for the fact that they're pretty cringy <laughs> and annoying. Uh, <laughs> and he and the door, he and Sarwan, I'm sorry, he do the whole mm -mm thing <laughs> to each other, and of course there's Frieza, with whom he for a moment there seems to have a bit of a moment. But immediately Freezer, Freezer just shows him that he does not give a fuck about him, he does not care for him particularly. And uh, he is clearly like the alpha bitch in there, if you will. And then of course episode 2, which was uh, Sharing Circles of Hell, I think it was. Uh, you see them all trying to, well, share. Most of what you see them describe the way they die, and then, you know, Cell goes for it, and he's very dramatic about it. And Freeze's all like, eh, you know, he's the ringleader there, he directs everyone to laugh at him. Uh, I mean, hey, you ask me, Cell's death was probably one of the most baddest deaths in all of Dragon Ball, okay? But hey, what do I know, right? The point is, uh, Cell, of course, knows a couple things about Freeze that nobody else knows in there. Specifically that he was not properly, he was killed by a Super Saiyan, sure, but he was not actually killed by Goku or even Vegeta. He was killed by Trunks, who probably, other than the androids in the future, his future, and they were weak, mind you, compared with the androids in general timeline. Uh, yeah, he is not like a big shot, so this kind of puts Frieza like, don't you fucking dare tell him that. Anyway, the point is, they get knocked out and... Uh, now we're here. Oh, one last thing before I do the reaction, the proper reaction. Uh, what I've noticed is that in the first episode, you know, within ends, they say, tomorrow we're going to be doing the sharing circle. Oh, okay, and now we did the sharing circle, and now the end of episode two, they're like, tomorrow we're going to play dodgeball. And uh, that's what it says right here. The third episode, the title is uh, Dodgeball C, you know, like Dragon Ball Z anyway. Uh, <laughs> so let's watch it. It's uh, the longest so far, like about 15 minutes. And the... Uh, thumbnail is literally Cell and Freeza, you know, you stare at each other, kind of like, uh, I, I always forget what's the name for it, but you know, when uh, two wrestlers are about to go into the, uh, into a fight, you know, they have that, uh, thing where, sort of a conference where they kind of <laughs> trash talk each other and they have that picture taken, I don't remember how it's called that right now, but the point is they're kind of doing that, so let's watch it, shall we? Let me just put this right here for a moment, uh, as you will notice, my habitual, um, headphones, Got trashed. Oh, what the fuck did I just... Eh, it doesn't matter. My uh, habitual headphones got uh, trashed. The... One of the... Uh... They, they got broken, okay, they got broken. Uh, I'm actually trying to repair them because they both still work. I can still hear perfectly fine from both of them. I'm just trying to get them fixed. Hopefully I will do it sometime soon. The point is I will be using this today. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay, three, two. This video is brought to you by Raycon. Stay tuned to the end I, of the video I usually to see what Raycon do that has so that I can you. hear when I'm editing where the click is actually. Christopher Ayres? Oh, that one of those. That's sad, man. I don't know who that was, but that's sad. This will be a 4v4 match of Volkerball. Our first team building exercise with our newest member, Cell. Cell and Freezer. You are the team captains, and you shall of now pick select your teammates. The first one to pick shall be decided by coin toss. I choose tails. So you're giving me hair. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. That was tails. Never fails. Ugh. Good. Now, Freezer, pick your first teammate. Again, you All right, Freezer. You need someone close, strong, and who follows orders. Dodoria is an obvious first pick, but then Cell will counterpick Zarbon. Unless he knows that I know that. Chris is overthinking this already. Else. Everyone's like, but dude. But at our level, the least obvious choice is sometimes the most. I pick Dodoria. I pick Zarbon. Bitch! Freezer also chooses Goldo. What? Next time, don't spend so much time on your first pick, yeah? Yeah. I pick... Raditz. Huh? Really? I honestly didn't expect you to pick me. Of course I did. Just look at that guy. You've got, like, a little less than half the surface area, right? Wait, Ogre, does hair count? Mine! Don't go... <sighs> Fine. I pick Rikum. Rikum is... Where's the rest of it, actually? ...the best for last. Wait, last? Where's the tall blue one and the short little red one? Berta and Jace are on commentary, mate! It's a card there! Of course, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really solve the problem. We're still a guy short. Where's our fourth? 
Oh no! Fuck it! I'm cruising it. I'm cruising it. Sorry, we're late. Who ordered the big gulp? They're so fucking going to lose, man. <laughs> I don't know, they might throw us like. Uh, Good day, folks. I'm Jay. A plot twist. I'm better. And tonight. Fastest in the afterlife. Play on dawn. <laughs> Fastest. It's boss of the wall action chase. And these cool. crudes can be more motley. Freezer's got the tallest and shortest players in the game. But Cell's got the thinnest and the fattest. But the real question is who is the fastest? And that's certainly a question. A question that's about to be He's still obsessed with it. Definitely we have to do this with a handicap. You know this is bullshit, right? You're the one who antagonized Frieza. And I'd do it again. Yeah, and you'll get out of here real quick with that attitude. Remember, gentlemen, fail me and... Well, I can't quite kill you, but I assure you, you'll wish I could. Achtung Allah! Fair enough. Ready, set, Volka! Uh, Hello! Oh yeah, he can do that with time. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Callback to One when Vegeta shot him. Beginning to the match. Riku may only in be the, the second tallest the, uh, member the, of the force, but show. he definitely packs the most beef. A true powerhouse to be reckoned with. But what's this? Raditz has recovered and he's got the ball. Okay. Keep your eye on it, birdie. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to be faster than that to hit such a small target. Oh, but now the ball's into Doria's meaty claws. That Sheila's a right bunyip with a ball. <laughs> oh, but she missed. Huh? Must be feeling like a real drongo, huh, Jace? Oi, stay in your lane, brother. Whoops. What the fuck? Doria, watch where you're... <laughs> I'll get you next time. Is it Doria? Helping them? What the fuck was that? Sorry for that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, come on. <laughs> of course. Oh, wait. I know that song. It's from the. From the arena show, Dragon Ball Super. The original soundtrack. You can Bob Buster. Hmm. Oh, he's actually like winded. Cell's team's giving it their all, but Raccoon is wearing him down. Damn! If only someone on this team could handle all that beef. What the hell's wrong with him? Oh no! Sabo oh, he has a second form, that's right! To avoid making any innuendos about balls! But he won't be able to hold back much longer! I... That's his trigger, I... huh? Not being able to do it when this. There we go. I'm going balls deep! <laughs> oh, there we go. It's funny because Rukum is supposed to be stronger than him, originally. Guts with that one. And that's the first out. Rukum has been eliminated. Great. Now Zarbon's out of control. Tadoria, handle his balls. Rado. Hey, big boy. What the fuck is How is she still so articulate? Maddeningly skilled the tongue. I like it when you put my balls in your huh? mouth. <laughs> That means Zarbon is eliminated, and both teams are down a member. Or in Zarbon's case, two members. Fuck you, butter! <laughs> Fuck you, butter! Wait, grab the ball! <laughs> I, I can't find it! I don't mean Zarbon's, I mean the actual <laughs> no, ball! No, dude! I know, I was watching it, but then it just disappeared! Hello! Oh, yes, yeah, it's like, Ow! There you are. Yes, I am. All right, Cell, how about this? Because I feel so sorry for you, I'll... Give me a handicap, won't use your hands, blah, 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 blow that ball out your ass. Hmm. Close. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Crikey, he's put a spin on her! And it's heading right towards... <laughs> What's this? The bar has ricocheted! Oh, balls. <laughs> Doria has been hit! 
And according Fucking to HFIL his... Vogue Ball rules, once a ball has been thrown, anyone hit by the ball before it touches the ground is out. Which oh, means really? both the Doria hmm. and Raditz have been eliminated. Damn it, Doria, you should have been able to dodge that. My bad. Yes, you're bad. Because now you've left me alone with the weakest member of my elite forces. Um, I'd even settle for Kui right now. But apparently his biggest sin was hating Vegeta. I... Seriously, this really? is just the jockstrap incident all over again. Right down to the big red ball. I thought we let that go. I'll let it go when you die. Again. <sighs> All right? Fine. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Stop that! Stop that this instant, you little... Damn it, Galdo! I order you to stop before you... <laughs> bitch! And it looks like Galdo is out! Leaving only nice. Lord Frieza versus Cell and Guru. Oh, wow. The thing is, Cell Frieza has what? so much bravado that... So, uh, and you know, he's overconfident, so men, or... they're probably going to take each other out. Don't need. And Guru's going to be left, and Cell's going to win. I don't need but that's the thing, Guru is like the super down. easiest so shot. Like, like you just have to fucking throw it at him. Where your mouth is. Put your balls where your mouth is, that's funny. Me more. Oh, fucking hell, Freezer, really? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your brief moment in the spotlight, you comely cockroach, because this is the end! I'll reduce you and your impudence to ashes! <laughs> My god, it was a fate! Yeah, crap baskets. Triples. And Sal takes it square to the face! He's out, ladies and gentlemen! I told you I wouldn't use my hands. <laughs> hey, Raditz, do I have a bloody nose? I feel like I have a bloody nose. I blame you for all of this. Ah, honestly, this has been amusing. But all good things must come to an end. And let this be a lesson to you, Cell, when you come at the king. Don't. Fair dinkum, folks. This is it. Thank God this voice is killing me. Au revoir, you giant green love sack. Uh, that counts as a catch! Cell can put a teammate back in the game! Oh, me, me, yes, I choose me, yes! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey. oh I love you, you fat! <laughs> uh, oh, oh god damn you, you fat! <laughs> Both Freezer and Cell are eliminated! And that means the winner is. Guru! Of course he is. Is there any doubt? <laughs> 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 Oh, fucking... Of course not, dude. <laughs> My spine! Balls! Oh, God! I pulled something! I pulled everything! Just lay down. I'll grab some eyes. Hmm? But does he need mouth to mouth? I cannot believe fucking that miserable server. slug. I will carve him out and make a reading nook within his cavernous insides. And as for that vile insect... Ugh, why do your feet make that horrendously irritating noise? I don't know. What is your mouth? Uh, fine. If you're here to gloat, then just get it over with. And if you're going to tell them I wasn't killed by Goku, I frankly don't care. Whoever killed me couldn't possibly be more embarrassing than Goku's tween offspring. Ah, oh, there's always Vegeta's teen offspring. Well, yes, I do suppose that would be... No. Yes. You think that time traveler was? And I'm sure everyone would love to hear how you were split in two by Vegeta's overgrown sperm. You're lying. Frieza, I've literally never lied. Huh. They won't believe Good you. Point. Why not? You do. Yeah. Sure, maybe they won't at first. But today you lost that match. Their loyalty is already waning. Sooner or later, doubt will set in, and everything you have here in this miserable, literal hellhole will crumble away, and all you'll be left with is two German ogres and a whole afterlife of shame. I... you... wretched... But I'm not going to tell them. Bitch, what? Bitch, what indeed? I know who I... King M. And I'd rather die a million more times before I ever pretend otherwise. Yeah, and you'll get out of here real quick with that attitude. 
Because I'm not playing your game, Frieza. I'm playing mine. Oh, so what? Now it's Cell's game? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you have no idea why that's so funny. You have no idea. You? No, Frieza. Fuck me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did they do? That's just Frieza. I wanted to apologize. Uh, what you said earlier really hurt my feelings, but that was no excuse to. <laughs> Yeah! There we go. <clears throat> Let me just take a quick look, see if there's anything at the end. Let's get just right at it. Oh, fucking hell! I have no idea if I'm still in focus, and I quite frankly don't give a damn at this point. Stupid big ass fit. Okay, so, what the hell just happened there, huh? <laughs> It was kind of hard because I was uh, at some points, you know, you was like, oh man, this reminds me and, and we want to comment it and unfortunately, like, with those headphones, it was already kind of hard to focus on what I was saying plus listen to what was going on in, like, the um, Hell of a Boss videos. With <laughs> these little things, yeah, they, 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 these earphones, they don't do the trick, man, they don't do the trick. Um, so it was one or two jokes that I probably missed, but I did catch most of it, I caught most of it. Uh, just like Sarbon cocked that ball, well, right? He's junk. Anyway, um, how was that? That was good. I liked it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious at moments. I thought it was really well made. And you know what? I think it's going in the direction that, first of all, I, I was pretty sure that it was going to go in that direction. I was pretty sure they were going to do a, a sort of like, um, I mean, ever since Tournament of Power, it's kind of what happens a lot of the time with anyone doing either Dragon Ball or, or, or any other big franchise, you know, two big figures facing each other. A lot of time they just take out, they take each other out and like, this sort of like plot twist character is just left there and they win. Uh, in this case, Guru. That's what happened, right? They played the game, there was a, a few character moments in there, uh, <laughs> a lot of really fun moments, you know. <laughs> and um, Guru won the game, Guru won, and Frieza and Cell had this moment, and Fr Frieza just got his whole universe shattered when he is like, no, no fucking, no fucking way, the dude who killed me was, and that's the thing, he never knew that, right, he never knew that that guy, first of all, he knew it was a Super Saiyan, so that's, you know, but it was not Goku, Goku or Vegeta, so that was already kind of like, god, that's kind of embarrassing. But it couldn't have been worse than being killed by Goku's son. No, you were killed by Vegeta's son, dude. Vegeta! Jesus fucking Christ, the, the embarrassment, dude. <laughs> you know, and the, here's the thing. When I say the embarrassment of being killed by the son of Vegeta, I'm not trying to shit on Trunks. I'm trying to shit on Vegeta, man. Um, uh, what would be my favorite part of that whole thing? I mean, th there were a lot of moments that were really funny, but... Uh, fuck, what could it be? What could it be? <laughs> I definitely liked... I definitely like both uh, as a character moment that Cell shows, he actually shows to stop being an asshole, which he is, you know, deep down he's an asshole, just like Frieza, and stop being an asshole just like Frieza, and be like, you know what, I want to get the fuck out of here someday, so I'm just going to play this, the, the trunk, the trunk, stupid asshole, the <laughs> right its way. So there's that. Comedy wise, man, there were so many, it, it was a really good episode, this one, it was a really good episode. <laughs> But, uh, hey, uh, you know what, the fact that Sarbon re literally couldn't hope, <laughs> the fact the fact that he couldn't do innuendos and that's what drove him into transforming, that that was crazy, man. Um, is there a theme in these things, in these videos? I honestly don't think there is a theme going on in these videos, but, I don't know, maybe... I'm not fucking Redemption, no, of course not. I have no idea, man, maybe just trying to change a little bit. Just change a little bit. I honestly don't think there's anything too deep going on. I'm probably overthinking this. So on Frieza, I think that their relationship is going to stay as it is, you know, kind of a, a rivalry, but also at the same time, right now, Frieza knows that Cell holds a lot of cards against him, but he's not going to use them. And that's probably in a way even worse. It's kind of like when Goku gave him his energy to save his life. It's even worse than if he had just fucking killed him. So there's that. And, uh... <laughs> I'm kind of excited for whatever comes next. In this one, I couldn't help notice that unless there's something at the ending that I'm going to check out later, they didn't actually promise something happening the next day, at least I didn't catch them saying anything like that, so I'm kind of, you know, curious to see what happens now. 
because so far it seems like for a while anyway the continue the continuity is going to like yeah let's, let's take a moment to think about what to do next that's at least what i'm thinking um but hey i hope that oh jesus christ i think my computer is freezing uh, anyway whatever happens it happens man and um yeah i would give this i have never actually rated anything that i have reacted to so let's do a quick rating i would rate this with seven out of ten stars uh and uh, I'll be hoping for, uh, you know, be anxiously waiting for the next one. Uh, fuck it, that's it. Uh, catch you on the flip side and have a... That's my cell phone. Have, catch you on the flip side, my dudes, and uh, have a good day. That's not my usual intro. Bye-bye. No, that's... <laughs> so quit then, perros. Yeah.